I, that February took the business plan to a bank pretty much just to see like, is this legit? Mm -hmm. And I was still in college and got a business loan somehow. Yeah. I got, and from a bank in Tuttle, from from a bank in Tuttle. Yes, yes, exactly. And that had to have helped. I mean, you know, he was my superintendent and all this stuff, but still given a small business loan to me that, you know, I was working at a, you know, I was working at a little lumber Can you see how much it is? Huh? Are you allowed to say how much it is? I mean, yeah, it was. A, it was. A, it wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a small loan of a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was not enough, man. Yeah. But uh, to me, at the time, it was more money like than I ever thought. Somebody's giving me money. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was like a. It was like a twenty thousand dollar business loan. And so I just remember him saying, "Congratulations, you're in debt." And I was like, oh, "What have I done?" I mean, at this point, I was just like. I just should have went to work Congrats, for someone Simon else. Jet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I was like, this is, you know, like I kind of for a second, like not, I mean, for a second, I let doubt creep in. And then I was like, no, nah, I got this. Yeah. yeah, and I think a lot of that has to do with like sports mentality um, that you learn. Like, you know, I can't dunk, but if you ask me, I'd try. Yeah, you know, I was like, I might be able to today. <laughs> you know, and I, I just, I always have that with everything. Like, there's a lot of things I can't do, but I'll try. Mm-hmm. I bet I can. You know, and then I don't. Then I'm like, all right, I can't do that until next time. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so I do. Um, I did that, and then so that it became very real at that moment. I was like, yeah. Oh my goodness. So, but you're still in school at this point. Yeah, I was still in school. So, uh, um, so, so you're paying interest on this twenty thousand? Not, not yet. Not yet. So I had. There was a lot of I don't really remember. I had a leeway time. You okay. know, um, I had, they gave me some time to potentially make money stuff like that sure um but that that wasn't as worrisome as when i signed the lease and more i had to be over i had to start paying rent yeah because they do the same thing you do a down payment but you have to start paying rent at a certain time and i was so the goal was get open before then do you build out and all the rest of it yeah yeah so i mean we did all i signed a lease in march and I graduated in May, the day after graduation. I drove down to Texas to pick up popcorn equipment. I visited that popcorn store where I kind of bought my, my starting flavors. You sure. know, and he showed me kind of how to work some machines. And then drove back. And literally that whole summer, I built the in, inside of my store. So it was a white wall because it was one of those buildings that got taken out by that tornado. Okay. Like there's holes in the ground. They kept the foundation and rebuilt. Yeah. So that we had I had to fill in a lot of stuff, but um, yeah, I had to build out the entire store, and I wasn't paying anyone else to do it, you know, because I was we were strapped, and uh, and this whole time, you know, and I'm not getting paid for anything over the right. whole summer, so my bank account just like do 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 do, and I was like, no. ramen noodles. I know. And I was like, I hope this works. Yeah. And. Uh, so we did that and opened. I mean, there's some funny stories, I guess, in between this. But we opened on August 2nd, 2016. And I graduated in May. So from May to August was just a full on go. And I remember like I, there was there was no book or that was like here. This is how you open a business. But all I know is everyone I told I was opening business that had they're like. Ugh. Good luck. Yeah. Like, that's terrible. Always, there's always like, a hater, yeah. I know. I'll, no, I mean, all everyone. I was yeah. like, I was like, am I doing ex- the right thing? Right I was like, but this is supposed to be good, right? Yeah. Everyone and, loves popcorn. But yeah, but when I tell people it was a popcorn store, they were like, oh my gosh. You know, or someone would just lie to me and tell me later. They're like, yeah. dude, when you told me, I thought you were crazy. I was like, well, thanks for telling Appreciate me. It. Yeah. yeah punk. But uh, um, anyways, so we did that and. I just remember, like, the very first time I got things set up, I was like, oh, my goodness. I yeah. Like, I do not know how to make popcorn, <laughs> you know? Like, that guy showed me to use those machines, but I was like, what do I do? So I just remember sitting. You, you have to come tour the yeah, store. Yeah, we'll have to do it. These caramelizers, there's just these two buttons, and this is what we make all of our caramel and candy out of. And I literally just, like, stared at it. And I was like... Is it going to buzz? Is it going to tell me when to dump things? You know what I mean? And so it took me a couple of days to get that figured out. And um, I, I, I'm pretty sure my brother was there. But the very first time I set up the kettle, I, I didn't know how to set up the oil. And the oil just went everywhere. And 
I don't know if you've ever had to clean up oil, but it's almost impossible. Pretty much, and, yeah. And then, like, I would put way too much salt in the popcorn, but I thought it was awesome because I love salt. My mom was like, you're going to kill people. <laughs> and, you know, because at this time, you know, like, my whole family's in there helping me get sure. this going. And, uh, my goodness, man. Like, I just remember just ruining so much in the beginning. And then as I got it figured out, like, now I have a whole cookbook that I've rearranged and made up flavors. You know, we have 65 flavors now. Yeah. And it's just hilarious because I just remember, like, I probably should have known how to do this before. You just <laughs> you literally know? jumped in. Yeah, like, I'm opening a popcorn store, but I don't know how to make popcorn. We'll get back to you, yeah. you know. And uh, so it was crazy. Just I just remember those first couple of weeks, especially mm. after we thought we were ready to open. And we and you got to wait for all of those, um, the the people to come in to, like, approve you. FDA stuff, is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And, and like, is health code. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think. Health code, building, like... I couldn't put a nail on the wall before I got some sort of license. Oh, you're kidding. And I couldn't. Then when I built the frame, I couldn't put drywall on it till the fire inspector came in. Yeah. Inspections. That's the inspections. word I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, I had to get inspections on inspections on inspections, and I didn't know this stuff. Right. You know, I was just like, I thought I want to open a business. I could just do and it. you got to call the city. All yeah, and right they got to approve. But, yeah. I mean, I remember we built a frame, put drywall on it. And then they're like, do you put drywall on it? They they're like, take it off. We're like, are you kidding me? Yeah. So we had to take it off. Well, they have to make sure it's all fire code. And in the in the buildings, you have to use steel or metal studs instead of wood studs, which I never worked with sure. metal in my life. Yeah. So that was awful. And uh, I was like, this is terrible. But anyways, we did all that build out. And then I remember the first time I cooked, they're like, well, have you got your health code? I was like, no. They're like, you can't cook yet. So I had to mm. throw all that away. And I was just like, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> And then the last code, I literally sat in there for 14 days because there's no scheduling. They just have to show up and you have to be there. Okay. And so it was just like the worst thing ever. Like I, my grandpa had passed away. Okay. So we, I, I'm not there for a day. Go to his funeral. They all came that day. Oh, you're kidding No. Me. And you're just <laughs> like. You, of all the I, days. I mean, exactly. I was like, this is just some sort of weird, you know. Then they just leave you, a letter on the door yep, or whatever. leave a letter that's saying you failed. Yeah. Because you can't. It's You fail or pass. So I had to sit there again for like. So this whole time, like we have to start paying rent. This yeah. is when that comes. And I, I was like, surely I'm like we're going to sell popcorn someday, you know. Damn. And then uh, the very. So. Anyways, they finally got going, and I did a soft opening. I didn't have a sign yet because I didn't know you were supposed to buy a sign first. And yeah. then I found out how much signs were, and I was like, well, let's sell some popcorn first. <laughs> and, uh, but I just remember, like, during that soft opening, I didn't have any employees, and I had a few. Uh, the Rumbaugh family from Tuttle came in, and they were like, we'll work for you. I was like, perfect. Come yeah. on. And uh, so I, like, my brother helped me cook a lot of popcorn and getting open. But like other than like actual literal employees that I like hire and have sure. to paperwork, I hadn't had. And uh, so that was <laughs> – I just remember like, oh, I better get some of those employees, you know. Yeah. And I was just like, this is better crazy. Get some help. Yeah. And because uh, I – like all I was thinking about was like this is my first job. I didn't know how to give – other people jobs you yeah. know at the beginning it was it was real that was that was tough i had no idea how to be a boss who just, uh how many flavors did you open up with 42 oh so quite a lot then yeah yeah well I, well that was the thing you know i was like this is what i'm selling it over you know and i opened and i just started cooking uh -huh. you know and i just kept making flavors and because it wasn't the the grand opening was huge we had yeah. like we had close to like 200 transactions that day Really? I mean, it was awesome. That's, yeah. So uh, that's good. That's great news. Oh, dude! I w and and me was like, this is how it's gonna be every day, you know? <laughs> yeah, like tomorrow's and, and then, exactly, <laughs> exactly the same. Exactly. I, I learned real quick. I was like, eh. yeah. But uh, anyways, yeah, it was insane, man. Like, I, and a lot of it had to do with my hometown of Tuttle. I right, mean, I think just the that whole community I think and the everybody. whole town came, and and you know, people from my college. I mean, there's. People from the more just driving by, like sure. I, I had this uh, one lady that would like come in the door every day, like, y'all open? And I was like, no. And I'd be like sitting there building like the wall. And, and, uh, and she, she was, a, she's a little customer. I still see her. Color yeah. spicy because, uh, her favorite spicy buffalo. Spicy. Yeah. And, uh, but she was like one of my first customers and it was crazy because I'd never known her. 
Right. But and I've I have so many relationships. Like this hat this is a customer. He's a homicide detective and and more. Yeah. And we just became so close. Like I ate at his house. Yeah. He it's because he buy his spotware from me. So like I've made a lot of awesome relationships, but that I just remember that grand opening day, like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah, and, uh, like I'm actually onto something here. Dude, this, yeah. this could work. And people liked it. I can you know pay I mean? my rent. <laughs> exactly. People liked it. And because it could have easily, they all came and like, right. dude, bad idea. Yeah. You know? And there were some flavors that they were, you know, they're like bad idea and I've changed a lot of them. Mm-hmm. But I just remember that day going like, this could work, <laughs> you know? And I was like, you know, I almost wanted to cry. And uh, yeah, because, you know, it's just like, this is insane. And uh because, you know, the more you think about it, I was like, you know, if you like look at a bag of popcorn, like this is how I make my living right. selling this. this. Yeah. And that's kind of insane to me. And, uh, but yeah, like, so August through December, like by December, because of Christmas, I'd ship to every single state except Hawaii. You're kidding me. No. A lot of, because uh, a how lot of that was. How do people find you? A lot of it was client gifts. So like people would send their, their gifts you know, Christmas gifts yeah. all over the place. But they wanted something that was made in Oklahoma. Yes. So they could say, are you in that made in Oklahoma uh, yeah, coalition I'm, I'm thing? The Mayo. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or Mio. I don't Something know. like that. Yeah. 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 The made in Oklahoma. I, I'm a part of that. 